I seen this car back in uh, 1988. I was in a field, and then uh, about, oh, almost a year later, I decided to uh, build a Ghostbuster car, and I said, I know where there's a 59 Cadillac. In 11 months, we worked, and we got it to go to, uh, we took it to Las Vegas and did a consumer electronics show. It's been gone for a couple of, oh, 22 years it's actually been gone in my life. I ended up having to lose it in my divorce, and I just bought it back last year, and so I'm redoing it. It's taken me a little longer. I'm not as young as I used to be, don't have the money that I used to have, but little by little, it's gonna get done. Five pounds of phosphorus in the paint, which makes it glow in the dark. And people say, well, that's not exactly like the one in the movie, and I don't want it to be exactly like the one in the movie. Mine glows in the dark. Why didn't theirs glow in the dark? We usually don't pick up hitchhikers. But I'm gonna go with my instinct on this one. Originally, the movie came out in 1994, and uh, at that time, it was, uh, I wasn't able to be able to build the car. Uh, I was doing other projects and stuff. And then that last year, the movie came out uh, part two. And I said, gotta have it. This is gonna be a neat vehicle that be able to drive down the streets. Everybody's gonna love it. Everywhere I go, I draw a crowd. Uh, no matter if I go into whatever business it might be, I come out and I have all these people I have to talk to. Mock, yeah, ing, yeah, bird, yeah. They can't believe that they're seeing it on the street that's got carpet on it. You can drive that? I mean, uh, what do you do if it rains? Uh, does it smell like a dog? Uh, you know, I get all these questions and stuff. And uh, I can take it to the car wash. I do that all the time. And then you drive it, and just like a hair dryer, you drive it and let it dry out. I've covered all the interior with fur. All the seats have ears. Uh, there's a real fire hydrant in the back. Uh, it's just made up to where it would be a lot of fun to ride in. first car I built uh, as far as movie car was Back to the Future and that was 30 years ago. Uh, it's hard to believe that it's been that long and it went to the Hyatt Regency for two days and two nights for a special sh screening uh, and Universal liked it and they asked me to do some, I did some TV commercials, I did some programming, I went back and forth uh, cross country in different places. Roads? Well we're going, we don't need roads. This has three TVs. They get to see the car on TV and get to see it on sit in it. I let everybody sit in my car and take pictures. Uh, I think the hands-on gives them a, a memory that they'll never forget. It tears up my car, but it's worth it because you see the smiles on their faces. I have a lot of the lighting and a lot of the stuff that was in the movie, and uh, they can get the full effect of what it was like to be in the Back to the Future car. Movie cars, people go, oh my God, I can't believe I'm seeing this car. I can't believe it's on the street. I can sit in it. You know, and they have all these reactions and smiles and everything else that really makes it feel good to be able to know that, that you've made somebody really feel good. So look out, and if you see me, wave, yell at me, honk. That'll be me.